we'll just start it. All right? You got it. All right. I'm here for you. Sounds good. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Frankie Slauson here uh, for another great episode of the Frankie Slauson Show right here on YouTube. And I have, I'm having the privilege, privilege right now of talking to somebody from the uh, a well-known director that, uh, to me, would be big enough as uh, Steven Spielberg, so to speak. <laughs> Even though he's not Steven Spielberg, but he is uh, uh, the founder of Troma Entertainment, if that rings a bell. I present to you Mr. Lloyd Kaufman. Welcome to the show. Well, uh, greetings from Tromaville, Frankie. And, um, uh, you know, a Poltergeist the Night of the Chicken Dead, speaking of Steven Spielberg, Poltergeist the Night of the Chicken Dead was indeed a fromage to Spielberg. It was an exact shot-by-shot -shot remake of Steven Spielberg's classic uh, Schindler's List. Uh, except that instead of the uh, Jews, we had chicken, Indian, zombies. And instead of the uh, uh, concentration camps, we had the concentration coop. <laughs> instead of uh, Liam Neeson, we, uh, we uh, brought in uh, Sir Ron Jeremy. Otherwise, Poltergeist is indeed a shot-by-shot -shot exact remake of Steven Spielberg's uh, Schindler's List. Yeah, I found out that his uh, movie E.T. came out on Blu-ray today. E.T.? Yeah, it came out well, on Blu-ray today. Uh, uh, oh, is that... Because uh, that's sort of in the league with Mastered, isn't it? <laughs> uh, isn't that uh, something the critics are all uh, ejaculating about? And uh, I, 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 uh, Mastered is the uh, current uh, favorite of uh, everybody, except for the public who clearly have stayed away from Mastered. <laughs> Why, is it because E.T. kind of looks like a turd or whatever? Or? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's sort of like Mr. Hankey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But in any event, uh, at least E.T. is watchable, and it's got uh, recent pieces. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's okay. And E.T. is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so uh, uh, what we're going to do is pretty much just ask you, uh, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions pretty much about your career. and you know, It's basically a simple interview. What career? Oh, you've had What a... career are you talking about? i got no career. I've got 40 <laughs> years of being economically blacklisted, 40 years of failed filmmaking. No, come 40 on 40 years, no. Poultry Geist. Poultry Geist was the number one grossing, the highest grossing screen in the country when it played its one theater in New York. And that they wouldn't even let us have that. <laughs> they kicked us out to put in uh, um, the, the uh, Raiders of the, the, what was it, the Skull Fuckers, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Part four, or what was Something it called? Like Something with the yeah. skull fuckers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they couldn't. They couldn't let us even have a second week at one theater in the whole country, and we got a good review in the New York Times, number one in the country. And they couldn't even let us have a second week. They had to put in uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Something of the skull fuckers. Yeah, but it's like uh, uh, Raiders Lost Ark Part Four. But I forgot. I you know I I forgot what it was called. It's been that yeah, it's been a blur. Well, there you go. That says it all. <laughs> you in Minnesota didn't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Too busy making those butter sculptures. Yeah, and having snowstorms and wildfires and everything else that's going on in this uh, in my wonderful area. Oh of shit, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great state. I love Minnesota. I love the Finger Lakes. It's so beautiful. And Minneapolis <laughs> is the best. In fact, Minneapolis has wonderful independent theaters. And I shot a music video in in in, in, in uh, Minneapolis with a band called Faggot, and um, you can see that I think you may need a password, but um, I, uh, the music video is on Vimeo. And my guess is, if you dial up Faggot somewhere, you'll be able to see the the music video that I shot in Minneapolis. As long as really not, cool. uh, as long as I don't put in the word Faggot anywhere else and, and uh, wind up looking at something else. <laughs> Well, nothing wrong with that either. I uh, guess not. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Um, nothing wrong with so, that. So, uh, have you ever? You know, so, you've been to Minnesota, but I'm pretty sure you've never many been times, up. many times, many times. But, In fact, our movies used to play at the St. Anthony on Main uh, movie theater. Uh, many movie theater, many trauma movies have played at the St. Anthony on Main movie theater in Minneapolis. But I have what what you uh, what you should try to do is try to get them up more up north there because I tell you what up here when it comes to culture and stuff like that when it comes to film culture people are are fucking clueless I tell you that much they well, don't why don't <laughs> we try nobody wants us yeah I, you, I don't get should, why you you and me 
in the feet should uh, make a campaign and uh, get uh, get uh, the theater to play some of the movies. Yeah, I mean that that would definitely I, I I guarantee that would definitely freak some people out over here. The people that are farmers and everything. And well, I leave it to you. You know, our fans. Uh, we've been around for forty years. It's only uh, our fans are the ones who make the. Uh, Make it uh, get us booked in, or get me gigs uh, with my make your own damn movie masterclass. Uh, there's no question, Poultry Guys was in about 300 American movie theaters only because the fans uh, insisted on uh, getting the theaters to play it. Okay. Well, what about the Toxic Toxic Avenger though? Wasn't that a big movie for you? Did that well, that's like a hundred years ago. He, yeah. The, the, the grandchildren. <laughs> you know, that's like a. You know, you're, you're a grandfather if you saw the, that movie in a the theater. I was that only... Was then. This is now. We're living in an age of uh, media conglomerates who uh, have taken over the marketplace. They've gotten the rules changed, and they, they are the gatekeepers, and we're not part of that game. I was only one years old when uh, uh, Toxic Avenger came out. I, I was born yeah, in 83, right. so I just turned 20. There you go. You see? <laughs> that's, when we made, that's when we made the movie. Uh -oh. So how did you get started with filmmaking? Uh, I made the mistake of going to Yale University. Um, <laughs> I was going to be a social worker or a teacher and a social worker and make the world a better place. Sure. Teach people with hooks for hands how to finger paint, stuff like that. But I got roomed at Yale with a movie nut my freshman year just by accident. So I started going to the Yale Film Society screenings, and uh, next thing I know, I'm... Uh, traumatized and you know I just got to totally knocked out by film after film after film until I decided to uh, make movies and that's kind of how it kind of started uh, like well, exactly but what, how it started. what was your inspiration to, to start filmmaking though like what what got you into the whole like this is what I want to do well uh, I started I speak French so uh the um, the uh, my Yale roommate had the uh, Cahier de Cinema, the magazine of the French Cinema Tech, and I started reading it. And um, it was written by people uh, named the Godal and Chabrol and Truffaut, and and uh, the uh, theory was the older theory of filmmaking that the filmmaker should be the author of the movie, have total control over the movie. So I bought into that. And uh, movies by Chaplin and Keaton and John Ford and Howard Hawks and Lenny Riefenstahl and uh, Mizuguchi and Kenzo Mizuguchi, Stan Brackett, Stan Fuller. I just kept getting knocked out by those great auteurs, and I decided that I would uh, follow that path and stay in New York and uh, be a failure. Oh, well, I, I would say you're not. I, I would, decided not to be Michael Bay. Damn it. <laughs> well, I know you're not Michael Bay, but I tell you what. I mean, you like I said earlier. I mean, you've had a, a great career, and you're still making films. You have you have a passion for what you do. While most of these people, uh, besides I'd say like Steven Spielberg, who who even even him, you know, didn't think that he was going to make it in the film in the industry, but he just kept on doing it and doing it and doing it, and, and look at where you're at now. I mean, you might you might think that you haven't accomplished much, but I I guarantee your fans would think differently. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, uh, or we're in the underground, so it's uh, you know basically for the last I would say for the last twenty years we haven't had a movie on any cable television, or even shitty Skinamax didn't play Trey Parker's Cannibal the Musical, Citizen Toxie, the most successful Toxic Avenger movie on home video and theatrical, never played any kind of cable TV. Or, uh, and same with the Trey Parker's Cannibal the Musical, which has sold half a million DVDs and VHS and whatever. So, you know, we're blacklisted, uh, economically blacklisted. So that doesn't make life that easy. We're, yeah. we're, you know, we're pushed down into the underground, even though our movies in a fair world, our movies would be um, uh, very much enjoyed. People... I've just discovered Terra Firmer. Terra Firmer is my most personal movie. It was made in 1999. It's suddenly having a huge uh, success in the home video because people have finally discovered it. So the Troma website, uh, Troma.com, is getting inundated with orders for Terra Firmer. 
because it's a good word of mouth. You know, eventually, even though we have no money for advertising, the word of mouth does uh, spread, Frankie. So, uh, uh, but I, I went, read on your website that you're doing something with Comcast, like a video on demand type of thing? Uh, no, we have a free, um, we have a channel on Comcast. If you have Comcast, we've got uh, a channel with free movies. So okay. you can watch our movies for free. There's no... Uh, there's no video on demand. I mean, it's on demand, but it's free. Okay. Yes, it is an on demand. But more important, we've got 250 free movies on YouTube right now. So you can see Poultry Guys, Night of the Chicken Dead. You can see Coxie. You can see Class of Newcomb High. You sure. can see Kabuki Man. You can see 250 wonderful trauma movies on YouTube, the YouTube Trauma Movie Channel, all for free. And we're doing that because our fans have been supporting us for 40 years, and we have our 40th anniversary coming up, so well, we want to, you know, say thank you to our fans. Sure, that's something to, that's something to celebrate, no, no matter what. <laughs> Not just our fans, but we also want to say thank you to our air conditioners. <laughs> of course, of course. So what do you think, uh, in your own mind, uh, is the best film that you ever, that you ever made, that you personally feel that it, uh, was your all-time best? I think the best film is one yet to come because we've just finished part one. We're shooting uh, The Return to Newcomb High, okay. uh, which is the, uh, a, a revisiting of Class of Newcomb High. And I think that is going to be Troma's best movie. Most original, most risk-taking, most exciting, most uh, scintillating. I think you will be very happy when you see The Return to Newcomb High. It's, about, it's um, sort of... Uh, um, you know, Quentin Tarantino is a big trauma fan, and uh, we decided we would sort of make volume one and volume two the way he did with Kill Bill. Oh, sure, sure. So it's going to be very exciting. I, the term to Newcomb High should be very, very exciting. And I know that uh, you got to work with a couple of people that I know on YouTube that I followed on YouTube and that I became really good friends with, uh, Sean C. Phillips and uh, Kyle Rappaport. Uh, how did that whole connection happen? Um, I think just, um, you know, we met at the Manhole Club, uh, we hit it off, I gave them a lap dance, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, next thing I know, they agreed to uh, let me be in their movie, or let me or let be in my movie, whichever way. They're both very talented, uh, very young, very beautiful, and uh, yeah, that's how we do things in front of the Manhole Club is a very important place. Because I, I know like a couple years ago, or maybe 2000. Nine, I think it was, or one of the Comic Cons, anyway. That you, uh, that was the, one of the first times that you guys got you and Sean Phillips, anyway, hooked up, anyway. Oh yeah, uh, he's very talented. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of both Cool Duder and Sean Phillips. No question oh, about yeah. it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative of his uh, trauma love, uh, but also was, he's a very good actor. He's really good. Did you see Haunted High at all? Pardon? Did you see Hot and High, the movie that was on Sci-Fi that he that he went that he did? No, I did not. Uh, didn't know. He didn't let me know about it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, he let everybody know. Yeah. Uh, it came out August twenty fifth or twenty sixth or whatever that was. Really? On Sci-Fi. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, send me a link. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see Sean Phillips in action. Sure. I'm sh I'm sure you often see it. Sci-Fi in that box. In that box right there. I would love to see uh, see Sean Phillips uh, in, in, in the new Sean Phillips. The, yeah, sure. The dancing Sean Phillips. <laughs> I'd love to see but uh, so uh, because you're kind of in the industry that does well, so I would say I don't know if it's horror remake or horror parodies or, or whatever you would call it. But what do you think about uh, horror remakes? Like you know, like uh, well, there, you know. don't go to you don't go to movie jail for making a good horror f remake. Uh, James Gunn's uh, Dawn of the Dead is is just as good, uh, certainly a, a well worth seeing uh, remake. Um, uh, All Quiet on the Western Front was a uh, oh, thank you was a remake. Um, the Star Is Born with Judy Garland uh, is the third iteration of that movie. Um, there are a shitload of remakes that are better than the original. How about the Tro Romeo and Juliet? Uh, all the remakes of that. Romeo and Juliet's a remake. It, I would say it's better than the original, for sure. Uh, not better than the original written in the 16th century, sure. but certainly better than the Zeffirelli version. 
Um, certainly better than that one with uh, Caprio or whatever his name is. It didn't oh, uh, the art of Caprio. Yeah. They never read Shakespeare. They didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> um, so, so remakes can be good. Unfortunately, you got a lot of crappy remakes because the suits uh, are making movies by remote control and by playing it safe and by uh, using schlocko directors. And uh, but, as I mentioned, there are some really, really good remakes. And then um, you don't go to movie jail. I guarantee you, Return to Newcomb High, which is a remake of the class of Newcomb High, will uh, please you, Sean. No question about it. So do you want to talk and about it? I would it? say will please the entire state of Minneapolis. Oh, uh, okay. Well, or the state of Minnesota. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Minnesota, Minnesota. Sorry, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Minnesota, sorry, sorry. Uh, so do you want to talk about your, your latest project? Uh, just uh, don't give too much away, but just... Uh, Kind of give a uh, preview of what you guys are doing? Well, it's, um, as I say, a revisiting of the original class of Newcomb High, except this time, uh, instead of uh, Chrissy and Warren, you were going to have Chrissy and Lauren. Okay. Uh, so, um, and uh, I think that's a pretty big hint. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, that's, that's, that's good enough, you know. And, um, and uh, it will have uh, themes about uh, um, the uh, bad food that, we are being, that are being shoved down our throats by the big uh, food companies. Uh, we have themes uh, about bullying. We have themes about uh, <clears throat> love over crass commercialism. It should be a pretty interesting, uh, I think you will find it to be the best trauma movie ever. Okay. Well, also the most, I think the most risk taking, the most oh, yeah. I think. You gotta take some risks too sometimes when it comes to making films or whatever to get your part across, you know. Do you, uh, do you make movies, Sean? Uh, no, what I, what I do is I'm, I'm almost just like uh, what Sean C. Phillips does in a way, except I'm not an actor. I have my own YouTube channel. I'm kind of nobody, in, in a sense, you know, like, I don't have that many subscribers, you know, and all that stuff, but I've been doing YouTube for four years, and uh, I have over 500 videos, and I've been just doing interviews with random celebrities and stuff like that, like yourself, so, that's what I oh, do. Oh, cool. Well, I, wait a minute, you have no subscribers? Why the hell am I spending the time here? <laughs> I'm not selling it. I don't want to. No, 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 I have a few subscribers, but it's not as big as, uh, like, Sean C. Phillips or Brendan Mitchell or, you know, anybody... Like big or like Jay Carl or whatever. I'm, I'm well, you're on Twitter. You probably have three hundred thousand followers on Twitter, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Uh, what am I doing? What's going on? <laughs> well, I'm oh, just somebody well. that's trying to get my 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 name out there too. I mean, because I believe that even though I live in, in Hickville, USA, I, I still feel that I I have I can provide a lot of quality entertainment no, I, as well. I think you're right. I I think what's great about the era we're living in is it doesn't require you to be in New York or Hollywood. Uh, you can be anywhere and uh, create something that uh, will get a lot of eyeballs, and uh, that's terrific. I think that's the one nice thing about our the age we're living in is that we've got the we can get around the big uh, conglomerates and. Uh, uh, if we've got something interesting, like, uh, who's that princess? I can't think of her name. Uh, the one whose boobs were on uh, TV, uh, the British one. Oh, Look at that. Nobody yeah. really needs uh, Disney or Paramount or, right? Whoever photographed that, those yeah. boobs got more attention than Michael <laughs> Bay will ever get. So it's a new world now. And you're, you know, if you get something for your YouTube channel that's exciting, you know, you, you could be held over. That's the nice thing. Yeah. You know, Poultry Guys, remember we talked about that, and Poultry Guys got kicked out after the first week because sure. of uh, the big movie. Uh, the Skull would be, uh, whatever it is, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders no, of the Lost Ark, Skull cross, you know, Crossing something. Whatever it is. And, yeah. and, and um, whereas now, you, you, can get, you can hold yourself over. You can put something up on YouTube. If you've got something that's interesting, it doesn't have to be on YouTube either. You can put it on your own website. Sure. And if it's something that's uh, that's uh, visionary and interesting and entertaining and exciting, you leave it. You, it can be held over as long as you want, and then uh, and, and eventually the public will will locate it. And that's just if it's a, any good. Yeah. And that's, that's just pretty. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, and that's just the thing. It's like why you know in, in a way like with this YouTube thing. You know, I used to be a radio DJ. 
uh, when I went to college and all that. So I have a lot of radio uh, communication experience. And I used to do interviews with, like, Michael Winslow from Police Academy, Randy Jones from The Village People, and a whole Where list. Where did you go to college? Uh, I went to college in uh, uh, NCTC, Northland Community and Technical College in Thief River Falls, Minnesota, a town that's only, like, 40 miles from where I live. So. And where did you, uh, what was your major? Uh, uh, broadcasting. Oh, good. Oh, very cool. That's great that they have a major like that. That's terrific. I, it, Yale didn't have that major, yeah. I'll tell you that. Now, yeah. what, uh, what movies have you seen recently that you like? Uh, well, I tell you what, I, uh, I saw uh, the movie It just recently. Stephen King's It. What is it called? It. Excuse me, how do you spell that? I-T. You know, Stephen. I yeah. Oh, uh, it. I yeah. Stephen I King's think. it. Uh huh. And uh, who, who made that? Uh, Stephen King. What? It, it was a Stephen King's uh, movie. With uh, Pennywise. What, the... what nationality? I'm not too sure. <laughs> huh? It was a. It was a. It was a horror movie. That's what it was. Kind of like a thriller type of thing. Uh huh. Yeah, you never seen it before? Stephen King's It? With Tim Curry? I can't understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, you're mum it's mumbling or it's oh. getting distorted. Say the name of the movie again? Uh, Stephen King's It. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I got it. No, well, that, that's, a, that was, that's, yeah, okay. Well, who directed it? Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pay much attention. Did I you guess. see I Saw the Devil? I Saw the Devil... Uh, no, I don't... Should check that one out. That's really good. Korean film. It's beautiful, too. It's beautifully okay. shot. Sure. And I saw that in the context of my own film, and I realized that uh, we are lacking quite a bit of beautiful... This this movie, I, I Saw the Devil, is just... It's it's a masterpiece, and it's, it's, it's quite violent, but it's original. It's totally original. It's beautifully written. The music is great. I mean, it's really... A, Good movie, and yet, and it's beautifully photographed. It's just incredible. Oh, it's really, really good. Well, I'm always into I'm always into checking out any type of film. I I, I like comedy and I like horror and all that stuff. Right now, I've been watching the uh, I I got the uh, Halloween series on Blu-ray, so I've been watching. Oh, that. nice. <laughs> good. Good. So That's good. the last oh, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the last question that I have for you uh, is: uh, Do you have or any advice to anyone who would want to be in the entertainment business or perhaps be a director or filmmaker or anything like that? Yes, I do. I think that, uh, well, I've articulated a little bit of the advantages in the era we're living in and that you can have, oh, you can have a holdover. You don't have to, nobody's going to yank your poultry guys out of the movie theater that was the highest grossing theater in the country. You, you, you can keep your movie holding over on your YouTube channel forever. Sure. So that then you can find out whether it really does have a spark of uh, life. Um, so that I think is very important. Um, and and in terms of uh, what you make, I think you should uh, you approach it as an artist. Uh, what you believe in, what you, what moves you uh, to that own self be true. Uh, uh, a phrase coined by uh, William Shakespeare, who wrote a very successful book called. Uh, uh, 101 uh, money-making screenplay ideas, otherwise known as Hamlet. Uh, I think that's basically where it's at. Do what you believe in. Do their own self be true. And and uh, make movies in Minnesota. No, make movies in New York because New York has the best incentives. But uh, if you don't have New York, then uh, make movies in uh, Minnesota. Sure. <laughs> where you've got some great... Uh, you've got a wonderful senator. He's oh. doing a great job. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, He's very good. He's really good. Yeah, Mr. Al Franken, you know, uh, I remember the days of his Saturday. He believes in public service, which yeah. is about uh, is something that the, um, I would say, the other, you know, certainly 90, 90 of the other 100 senators do not believe it. I'd say there's five or six of them that are as idealistic as he is, and that's it. Yeah, uh, everybody, we, el everybody we should else. Cherish, yeah, we should cherish him. He's uh, He's doing a wonderful job. Everybody else I is follow on him on YouTube. Sure. I follow Al Franken on, on uh, Twitter, and he's okay. uh, really good. He's great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he he uh, he seems to be a good guy, and I like people like that who are 
who are not just in it because of the money or, or the fame or whatever. That's right, know. yeah. And that's what yeah, I like. Because they want to make a difference, like Troma. We're yeah. The, we're the Al Franken of the underground. And that's what I like we about you. We want to make here. a difference. And that's, that's what right. I, we do yeah. what we believe in. That's what I like that's about That's my here. advice. All right. That's my advice. <laughs> and that's what I like about you there, there Lloyd. You're, you seem like a very classy guy. If I were to meet you today well, in person... I would. Well, I'd, I'd have you. a beer with you. <laughs> well, thanks, Sean, and thank you so much for your interest in trauma. Yeah, and thank send you. us the link, and uh, we'll. Uh, the trauma website gets about half a million uh, okay. people every month, so we'll uh, we'll uh, promote it when it gets out there. All right, I'll let Regina know when I. Uh, it's supposed to come out Halloween, so uh, is this is supposed to be like a special little Halloween episode that I'm doing. So. Oh, great, great! <laughs> and if you want any clips. Uh, if you need to use any clips, you can take anything you want. We've okay. got all sorts of, uh, you know, there's stuff all over. You can take anything from our DVDs or, okay. you know, we have a lot of stuff up online. You're welcome to take anything. Oh, sounds good. I appreciate it. Thanks very much, sir, Lloyd, and thanks for your time. Well, thank you, and best wishes, Frankie. Yeah, you too. Bye. I mean, Sean. I mean, yeah. Frankie. Sean and Frankie, Sean. it's all the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Right. Well, best wishes. Thank you. And that was Lloyd Kaufman, and, uh... Thank you uh, to Lloyd and uh, Troma Entertainment for the chance to uh, do this interview. And thanks to his agent, Regina, uh, for uh, setting this up.